Hi there, Dr. Tyler Williams with Pinecrest Dental, and you're here on this video because you're looking for dental implants, and you're wondering what kind of insurance or benefits are out there, and you're looking into your options, so you've come to the right place, because in today's video we're gonna talk about that topic exactly, which is which you know something many, many people who come see us ask this same question, right? What's the best insurance for dental implants, or my insurance doesn't cover dental implants, or I want, you know, a new smile, and, uh, you know, what's the best coverage or options for that, because it's, you know, can be expensive, right? It costs a lot of money to get that done. And the first thing to understand is that um, dental insurance really is not insurance. There is not currently, nor have we ever seen something that's actually insurance for dentistry. And what I mean is, you know, when you have a, a fire on your home, which hopefully never happens, or you get in a car wreck, which hopefully never happens, or you have a major surgery because of an accident, which we hope never happens as well, most of all, because you know, our bodies are one of the few things we cannot replace, and we wouldn't wish that on anyone. But if that does happen, you have this thing that kicks in called catastrophic coverage that covers large amounts, high dollar amounts, to help you out, because most of us, do not have 20 or 50 or 80 or 200,000 or even sometimes a million dollars or more on some of these claims. We don't have access to that kind of money. And that's where insurance kicks in and helps us mitigate some of the costs and the damages associated. So with dental insurance, think of it as like a prepaid Visa card, which is a great benefit to have if you have it. And that prepaid Visa card might have $500 to a few thousand dollars. You know, usually the highest we see is between two and three thousand dollars. Some a little bit more. Most people are right in the spot of around twelve to fifteen hundred dollars a year. And that prepaid card is what you can use at your dental visits for anything from you know root canals to routine checkups to getting cavities fixed or crowns. And even though you know they might cover. 80% on this procedure, or 50% on this procedure, or 100% on this procedure, or 20% on this procedure, once you reach that maximum for the year, which is, you know, as I mentioned, for most people around twelve to $1,500, then your coverage is zero for the rest of the year. So that's why what I alluded to earlier is there really is no such thing as dental insurance, because once you go through that $1,500, there's no benefit. So let's say, for example, you needed a few dental implants and you know your cost was going to be ten thousand dollars right maybe replacing several teeth but not your whole mouth and you have this benefit and your insurance says hey great news we cover 50 percent on implants so you go into the dentist and say hey i'm interested in getting some implants my insurance tells me they cover half let's get this done and then you know the procedure is ten thousand dollars and you find out that your insurance is only going to cover fifteen hundred and you're scratching your head thinking how can that be possible? They told me it covered half. Well, they do cover half, potentially, up to that limit. So if your implants were $3,000, they would cover half in this scenario, which would be $1,500, get $1,500 paid, you pay $1,500, you get $3,000. But once you move beyond that $3,000, $3,001 and up, they'll still cover half up to the $3,000, and then they cover, again, zero for that entire plan year. So when you're getting something like you know, an all on four or three on six or implant bridges or snap in bridges or multiple implants. Um, it can be a little bit confusing, but that's kind of how it works. And, you know, insurance companies for dentistry see that as cosmetic and elective, which is kind of funny. But, you know, in a way, they're right because technically, if we had no teeth, we could still live. You know, just like if you had no hands, you could still live quality of life would not be very good and I wouldn't want that for myself or my family or for you but that's just the nature of the beast and rather than you know complain or um, you know just give up we've found some great ways around that um, we offer something called the Pinecrest Smile Club and that is a membership program that provides savings on dental procedures and it provides preventative maintenance and checkups for your implants or your new smile or your veneers. So in the case that, you know, maybe you need a full mouth of implants, sometimes with the Pinecrest Smile Club, you might save two or three or four thousand dollars 
on your new smile and that's better than insurance for a lot of people because the insurance would have maybe only covered 1500 and you're paying on that every month and they may not cover all of your implant maintenance because again a lot of people with implants have had gum disease or have gum disease or you can even get implant disease or preventive and true preventative dental care covers disease free gum, no gum disease no gingivitis mouth when you start to get some of those things the percentage of it that they cover drops and that's again where they can be deceiving where they say hey we cover 100 percent on checkups yes but if you have x y or z going on in your mouth that has to be coded differently in order to get your insurance benefit and be transparent to them and so their percentages can be less so for a lot of people the uh, you know membership plan like the pinecrest smile club is a great option there are you know uh some other savings plans out there that you can look into but you know when you meet with an implant dentist you want to find out hey what do you offer in house to help me get maintenance on these implants so that I don't just get a nice smile today, but it lasts a long, long time for many years to come. Because that's what we would hope for you, is that not only you get a new smile, but that it lasts for a long time. And that's where we go back to the very beginning of, hey, you know, an implant smile or a, a new smile can cost a lot of money, but when you compare it to a car, that most people only drive for anywhere from two to five years and then they sell it, it's really, really valuable. and from my experience of doing this for over 13 years, a new smile is worth more than a car because you use it every single day. Everyone can see it. You feel better about yourself. You're healthier, and it can last a lifetime if it's well maintained. Right? Doesn't mean there won't be some maintenance costs along the way and some other things to do. But for most people, a car, they drive it for a couple of years, and even if you keep your car for 20 years, right? At the end of 20 years, that car is not worth anywhere close. If you paid $40,000 for a new car. And in 20 years, it's probably only worth a couple thousand dollars, right? But if you get a new smile 20 years later, that new smile is worth as much or more because of the health and confidence that you still have and you're able to eat the food you like, especially the healthy foods that keep your body holistically uh, feeling well, doing well, being able to eat those kind of things that are nutritious and beneficial and also you know, ward off other potential medical costs that are associated more commonly with people who are missing teeth or they can't eat foods very well or can't chew very well. So if you have some questions about the Pinecrest Smile Club, you can call us or visit our website. Our information is below this video and we would be happy to go through that with you. We are passionate about helping people smile and not only just providing implants, but providing you with an alternative to implants that most implant centers won't tell you that many people don't know about and can give you just as great of a smile as, a new, as an implant smile, but often for less cost, less pain, more comfort, and in a shorter amount of time. So thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video and we look forward to hearing from you in person. Please leave some comments below if you have questions and we'll use those for future videos. Have a great day. Thank you.